I've told my agent that I, di I divide scripts into four categories now. Good, interesting, boring, and toxic. I said, I don't do toxic anymore. I'll do a boring script, but I won't do one that's corrosive to every value that we care about. And there's a lot of corrosive scripts out there. Mm -hmm. So it just means I work less. Yeah. But there you go. Well, you know, <laughs> nowadays I can make those choices. And I, there, are, there are toxic that I won't even entertain. But uh, I, I really, you know, in those early days, I didn't have uh, luxury of turning much away because there's so much work that had to be done. As if there was any place in there that a little bit of understanding, a little bit of um, undoing some tape somewhere, you know, there's, there's a lot of work to be done as far as, you know, re-educating people or, or bringing another idea to people's minds. The, 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 this, this whole image of who we were, who we are, is so tainted, toxic, that um, every story that you can think of had so, to be retold. So something like North of 60, how did that settle with you? In uh, terms of a, an interesting story, a good story, a toxic story, a, a story that reinforced bad stereotypes, or a story that actually was opening possibilities? Well, uh, North of 60 gave lots of people opportunities to try out their storytelling chops. And it was, uh, I, you know, I didn't watch every episode of it, but people sure do love it. And uh, I think one of the things that they did love about it is that they weren't sure how things were going to go because of that cultural element. And uh, didn't know when, when some kind of cultural perspective was going to shift an event right. or a situation. <clears throat> so that helps to open people's minds a little bit, you know. Maybe next time they go watch that one of those episodes and next time they see something might might give it a second look instead of oh yeah I know that you know I don't know it probably did a lot of work you know you never can tell it's it's bit by bit by bit by bit by bit by bit by bit you know you can't do it all at once I'm waiting for someone to make a film of Three Day Road well somebody is working on that who? they can tell you so it, it's, it's by Joyce, jo, Joseph Boyden, right? Yeah. It's his story about the two Cree guys coming back from the First World War. It's a stunning book. Mm -hmm. And it's a stunning book, not only to the story and the adventure, but again, everything you're talking about is taking, telling the story of, in this case, the Cree people and their relationship to life, land, foreign, and all the rest of it. I just, I don't think it'll ever be made. Mm -hmm. That's the pessimist in me. Yeah, and it, and it takes it out of the historical. How do you mean? You know, it's not, I mean, it, it goes back in history, yes, but to the war. It's not right. way back and, right. you know, to the days of the Carrere de Bois and, and uh, all of that, that historical stuff, which, which needs to be done and still needs to be redone, you know. Uh, One of my dream projects is to raise the money and get a third uh, casting of Bill Reed's Spirit of Haida Gwaii and to find the place in Toronto which was the First Nations meeting place and put the statue there. Because I don't think Toronto is rooted in that part of its past. We don't even know, you know, where the First Nations were in Toronto. But they were, right, for whatever, 10,000 years. And that to root, to put those kind of roots down, so all those cultures have And what would be the place. appropriate thing to put there? For me, I want to put, for selfish reasons, the best piece of sculpture Canadians ever produced, yeah, which is the Spirit but, of Haida Gwaii. You know, is that the right thing to do? Is that the appropriate thing to I don't do? Know. Is that what belongs? It's what my there? heart says, but I don't know <laughs> if it's appropriate for you. But it's what my heart says, because he has yeah. ex Bill has expressed in that canoe and in all the stories among the inhabitants of that canoe, he has expressed something that's stunning about who we are. Mm -hmm. um, and where we're going. And those canoes are alive again. Yeah. Yeah. 